Get over here! Hector and his allies defeat the Black Fang monster Pascal. However, they learn nothing of the Fire Emblem's location. To escape from the Black Fang, they disguise themselves once more. At Ellawood's suggestion, they head for the Royal Palace of Burn. Because you know how good their disguises are. Ugh. Break out the burlap sacks, everybody. You know, now that I think about it, and this is a completely different topic, does that make that last chapter completely pointless? Um, I mean, yeah, you can pretty much remove it and not miss anything except for Farina. Which is exactly what happened. Yep. But anyway, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to chapter 26 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. I'm the Green Scorpion. And I'm the Comic Foil. And here we are in the Palace of Burn. And, uh, yeah, um, interesting note here. Um, oh, Hector... this is the actual capital? This is the Palace of Burn? Yes, and, uh, I think so, anyway. But, uh, what, uh, Hector is mentioning here? Actually, no, it is not. I think this is where, uh, Queen Eleonora is staying. No, not Eleonora, uh... This isn't the manse. This isn't where Helena was, Helene. This is oh, he... this is where the Fire Emblem was stolen from. Ah, so they're starting their search here. Gotcha. Okay, and yeah, Hector was just mentioning that the, the region here is extremely uh, saturated with mountains. Yeah. And Ellawood mentions that that's the reason why this place is, like, specializes in wyvern riders. Yep. I think they're about to say something about, like, who could have stolen something from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, like, this, this fort right here is completely surrounded in mountains. Well, obviously King Desmond allowed somebody to take it. Oh, to, yeah, to like, prevent... he's, he's not even being subtle. Yeah, to prevent Zephyl's... Not Zephyl's, um... Ah, uh, ah, uh, his name. Uh, drawing a blank. Zephyl's, uh, coming-of-age ceremony? Yeah. Wait, is it Zephyl? Yeah, Prince Zep uh, Prince Zephyl. Okay. I was getting, I was getting two people's names confused. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like uh, our three lords here are doing some espionage, making sure that they don't get caught. Actually, no, I think this is. Hmm. No, it is. I, yeah, I... this is a. Uh, this is a uh, the manse. No, this is where King. Or... This is where King Desmond lives because. Right. Zephyl's coming here to visit Guinevere. Right. Is it Guinevere or Guinevere? Um, I don't know. I'll look at it when the name comes up. I think it's Guinevere. Gu yeah, Guinevere. Okay. So, yeah, we have uh, Prince Zephyl here with a extremely adorable little uh, Guinevere here. Yeah. She's so tiny! It's so weird seeing Zephyl being, like, the nicest guy. Oh, jeez, yeah. He's such a good kid. He was a good kid. What happened to him during Binding Blade? His parents are crazy. Good point. Yeah, this... This scene kind of makes me cringe. I find it disturbing that, like, I don't know, Desmond's, like, practically facing out to the audience. Just his eyes are a little to the side, so it's not quite fourth wall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this... This scene, like... the. Yep, there's Murdoch again. We uh -huh. saw, yes, we saw him I before. do remember this. Um, he is a pain of a boss in uh, Sword of Seals. Who? Murdoch. Oh, okay. So, yeah, like, and it's obvious that Murdoch is pretty much uh, Prince Zephyr's, like, vassal. Yep. He's also a very accomplished uh, general. Mm hmm. Why do you gotta be such a douche, Desmond? I have no idea what his motives are, actually. Desmond, well, Desmond just hates him. He just hates him. That that that's that's all it is, right? Yep. I had to think about that for a well, second. Well, really, it's because like Zephyl will make a really good king, and I think Desmond's like jealous about that. Desmond's got some serious like. He's got some. He's got a serious. He's got probably one of the worst inferiority complexes That's what I was I've to ever say, yeah. seen. Yeah. Is that what it was? That's what you were trying to. Yeah. He's afraid of being bested by his own, own son, son, which won't even happen right away. It won't happen until Desmond's dead. But he just. He's not having it. And yet, the common fantasy trope is that fathers would love to see their sons surpass them. Yeah. I mean, there's enough things of like. Oh yeah. There's always exceptions. It's like an Oedipus complex, except In fact, yeah. Zephyl doesn't Whoever said it. that, it is, it is jealousy, my king. It is jealousy. 
She says it. Hey, Sonia. Plain and simple. Hi, Sonia. Oh, boy. These two. Where'd you get lipstick? It's the Middle Ages. Yeah, they probably have something. Yeah. But yeah, so... Right here pretty much explains it all. Uh, Sonya has a Fire Emblem. King Desmond is in on it. Yeah, it helps to know somebody who's controlling the world's greatest League of Assassins. Oh boy. And what are my other requests? One of the Four Fangs will tend to it. There will be no mistakes. Huh. So... <sighs> What else might he hire a group of assassins to do? Gee, I wonder. His birth is low. Screw you, Desmond. Oh, man. So, yeah. If you guys thought that this guy was despicable enough just for alienating his son and completely ousting his wife, he is planning on having Zephiel assassinated. Yep. Um, I think the entire I think the entire thing with the fire emblem is actually just a diversion. It pretty much is. Like because while Helene's trying to act against that, she's not thinking about what else he could do. Ah oh, man, like Burns, like the royal family of Burn is absolutely messed up, and the and the worst part of it is all of this. Like all of this is going on unbeknownst to Guinevere and uh, Zephiel. And they're the innocent ones here! Uh-huh. Yeah, they're just caught in the crossfire. They love each other. And... that There, that that right there. I want to play with him, not you. He's afraid of all of his people's love going to Zephiel. Attend me. Yes, my lord. Okay, so Zephiel caught this fox while hunting. This baby red fox. And gave it to his sister. And she loved it. And he's giving it to this soldier so that the soldier can put it down. Only because Zep it was a gift from Zephiel. There is no saving that box. Uh, I hate this guy. Like, okay, Mad King! What an asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Mad King. There we go. Yeah. He's the one. Yep. And yet he's one of the few Mad Kings in the series who we don't actually fight. Nope. But I think he's the only Mad King to give birth to a Mad King. <laughs> Good point. But yeah, so thanks to our little espionage group here, we know what's going on. <laughs> so covert. Much sneak. <laughs> you gotta wonder how Hector's able to do it with that armor he's wearing. Putting the solid in Metal Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So, their next goal is to find the Black Fang Fortress. Yeah. How do they plan to do that? Well, we have our information, but we need to get out of here now. Meanwhile, we have a little, uh, we have a little situation going on here with the siblings. Yeah, they didn't take the siblings into the Burn Palace. That would be a bad idea. Gee, I wonder why. She just, he just said Lord Hector's a strange guy. <laughs> But it's true, he is strange. And Nils has seen a lot of strange stuff. He doesn't put on airs like other nobles. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Nils is uh, warming up to Hector. It's like, he realized... I think what Nils here is saying that, like, Hector is not like other lords, but that's a good thing. Yeah. And here we go. Oh. oh, man. Hmm. Uh-oh. Well, this is a whole lot of bad. Well, here we go. Uh-oh. That's not good. Now then, this woman. Hmm. She's interesting. So this is Vita? This is Vita. And that's something, by the way. And yeah. I forgot about this. Nils can't sense her. Nope. At all. Yeah. 
I forget why that is. I think it. Ex I think it's explained uh, later on. Yeah. But we have to go through certain processes to do so. And to do that, we have to not die. Yes, that dying would be bad. Uh huh. <laughs> Nolan, so you're you are not the one she's looking for. Ah, uh, well, she it, she kind of is. She's pretty much looking for everyone. Yeah, but I mean, if she could deliver one of the siblings to Nurgle, that would just be great. Well, she doesn't work for Nurgle though, right? She works for uh. She, I don't know. Like, hang I on. think True, she we works a contract with the Black Fang, but yeah. Oh, she's a she's a burned soldier. Yeah, she works for Desmond. Okay. But Desmond's been dealing with the Black Fang. In fact, I think that's why later on she has a change of heart. Yeah. Because of like because she eventually finds out what's going on. That being said, despite being like a general a general and I'm pretty sure she's a respected general among the ranks of Burn, she's pretty she's pretty ruthless. Respected or feared? I think feared's a better word. <laughs> Yeah, th this is suddenly seeming like a bad plan. Yeah, this chapter is interesting because all it says for us to do is survive. Okay. We got we got some uh, pretty we got some uh, pretty uh, we got a pretty grueling battle coming ahead. I was trying to find the words. Yep, it, it, grueling's a good word. Grueling. Yeah. So right. um. Yeah. Let's pick some units and then we will gruel. Let's do it. Gruel. I don't know. It's well, if something is grueling, doesn't that mean it gruels? I don't know. Why, why is it that word? So here we go, and look who's here to help us! Yep, it's uh, it's Pent is finally joining us with Lady Louise. Mm -hmm. Both of these units are actually really good. Um, even, I, even for even for this point of the game, you know what I just learned? What I, I think I already said that um, yeah, Pent is from Etruria, which isn't the same place as Elia. Yeah. But also, um, Pent was Eric's master. Yes. Those two can actually have a support conversation together. Yeah. Now then, meanwhile, uh, Pent has something. Something important from Lord Athos. A heaven seal. Now then, as you guys have seen, like, there's all these promotion items and everything that the units can use to upgrade. The heaven seal is what the lords use. Looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> This, like, all-important artifact. Mm -hmm. Now, Hector tries to use it and nothing's happening. Which is actually kind of important. Yeah, it's it's not his time. Alright. Which actually uh, has some import here. It does look funny. It does... Well, it doesn't look all that different from an Earth Seal. Well, that's not actually my name, but, um, yeah, you can call me Comic. Yep, that, that's what I do. Ah, thanks. What a nice lady. She's very proper, yep. Louise. Also! We're in the money. We're in the money. We're gonna get that situated later. Yeah, we can finally, um... And Kent, look at that! Like, all things considered, nice. if you haven't upgraded Eric, Pent is a good pl is a good way to go. We also have a uh, bolting, I think, in our supply, possibly. Yeah, we do. Now, here's the thing. Despite Hector being maxed out, we can't use the Heaven Seal. The plot says no. The plot says no, but we say yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blade Lord. Oscar, are you blushing? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. But what what did Ellie would call her? Striking? In more ways than one. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you guys may notice we now have her equipped with a short bow. That's wonderful. She is going to do some serious work now. I am quite excited. Oh man. 
Ugh, Lynn, we're going to- we're going to kill so many people. <laughs> Murder so many people together. Uh, not just the men, but the women and the children, too. Well, no, no, not the children. Not the children. Meanwhile, let's do some work. And Sarah's off to a strong start. Yep. Rocking that purple dress. This winter's latest fashions. More like robes. Yeah. Um, a robe can be a dress. Okay, great. Point taken. Mm, I don't like that Ugh. hit chance, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Come on. Power of darkness. Alright, alright. So far. <clears throat> okay. You know, it was worth a shot, but that's where you come in. Where is Eric? Did we not bring him? No, he's uh he's in the middle. Okay. Oh, right. I got I'm I'm so used to him looking like a mage, I forgot what he <laughs> Because when I see that now I think Pent. Pent. <laughs> Good. Well, you may wanna you, you may wanna yeah, like... I gotta adjust my expectations. Um because honestly, he's going to be better than Pent now, because we put the work into it. And he's got the Aphis drops. Yeah. That's some bright purple hair. Oh, jeez, you're right. It, it's kind of Sheesh. hurting my eyes. <laughs> it, it might just be this TV. This TV, um, yeah, really brings out all the colors. Uh, I'm going to save it for next turn, maybe? I'm actually going to check something. Um, well, you're gonna have to. How wait. many? How many squares is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, ten. Let me check something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, he can't even reach these guys. I mean, they're gonna start moving soon, though. Are they? Yeah. All right then. Yeah, we're gonna have. Uh, we might as well have Will uh, do some uh, sniping from there. Meanwhile, we got the Pegasus sisters over here along with Sane. <laughs> the Pegasus sisters. I like that. <laughs> I said that last chapter. Did you? Yeah. I, I I knew you were saying it during the um during the preparation phase, but I didn't think the audience heard it yet. Mm hmm I forgot to equip Farina with some lesser equipment, but eh, doesn't matter. She's already wasted. You know, we got a white gem now. That's enough to buy five Farinas, so. No, it's not. It's ten thousand gold, isn't it? Yes, but Farina was twenty thousand. Oh yeah, I can't count. What are you talking about? Wow, some engineer I turned out to be. Okay, that's enough to buy half a Farina. I don't think I want half a Farina. You can have Farina, but not the Pegasus. I, I might be able to get behind that. Th that's how it would work in a genealogy of the Holy War. Anytime you went out, anytime you went inside, everybody got off their mount. You're making me want to play that game again. I, Nintendo, you remade Shadow Dragon. It was all right. Please remake Genealogy of the Holy War and bring it to the States. I would love that. Uh, please, uh, I'll be your friend forever. 